My name's Peter Sims. I'm 64 years old. I've had this R90S in 1987 and uh, coincidentally it's done 240,000 miles. The same amount of mileage that it is to the moon. built for long mileages and the, the longer you use it the better it is. It's got good balance and it's got the sharp drive, low centre of gravity, less vibration. I think it's the performance and the simplicity really. Overall the, the whole concept is just very special. Once I had a BMW I didn't, I've never had anything else. was a milestone for BMW. It was released in 1973 to celebrate 50 years of the Boxer engine. But what made it truly special was the way it stood out from any bike BMW had made before, and some would say since. BMW managed to shake off the staid and conservative image of its bikes almost overnight. This was thanks to BMW USA sales director Bob Lutz and designer Hans Mutt. The R90S had the performance to rival the CB750 and Z1 with 67 horsepower and a 5-speed box. It also had the exclusivity that came from its astronomical price tag, £1,799, almost as much as a small car. But that didn't matter. Not only did it look the part, like this one in iconic Daytona Orange, it also won the Isle of Man TT in 1976 in the hands of Helmut Dana and went on to take first and second at Daytona later that year. The R90S was the ultimate sports tour of the 70s. It would happily take you to the moon and back again. I was a psychiatric nurse in the very early days of the institutional hospitals. I uh, was on a ward with a young schizophrenic and he'd never been on holiday, so I suggested with my friend that we take him abroad on the back of my BMW. This patient went on the back with me and uh, we, we didn't have anywhere to stay. My friend who went with me said, why don't we stay with this Dutch friend of mine, Inika? And she's now my wife of 34 years. And the bike was invaluable for the next three years because uh, I commuted to and from Holland all year round, totally reliable. The whole thing adds up to me to the perfect motorcycle. Mm -hmm. 